Alright, back to the future. Here we go, it's about time. Select an episode. Okay. We got no sound again. How did we lose our sound? You guys have sound. Why don't I have sound? What is going on? What? Why? Why there no sound? All right, back to the future of the game. Let's start a new one. And before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Uh, yes, show goals. Let's see what this guy is. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In Good job. Ed. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control yeah. watch. Got it? Okay. Right. Jack, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Let's do this. Wait, you was got that a thing hooked up to the car? Is that a JC Penny in the background? Watch this. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh. Is the Delorean supposed to do that? Not me. The car. The car. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Here we go. My calculations are correct. I hope this so. Maybe hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> You're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Oh! Whoa! You just created Einstein. <laughs> what did I tell you? Where's the car? What the heck? What the heck? The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Doc, who, who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Okay. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero you seconds, time we shall catch up with him and the time machine. You put your dog in the time machine? You, you build a time machine at Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the fuss dispersal. Look up! A J.P. Penny. Not a J.P. J.C. Penny. J.P. Penny. <laughs> uh, Doc? Ah, oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Uh-oh. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? It's not no like need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could oh, you get yeah. my notebook? It uh, should be in the toolbox. Yeah, yeah, just a minor miscalculation with the time circuits. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you see Doc's toolbox. All right, to the left, to the left, to the left. To... Okay, so we got a sealed container or toolbox. We were told toolbox. Notebook, notebook. This must be it. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. 
the thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals high this, this times is C, the way and D equals happened. square root of Z times C squared. Familiar. And the flux to the spatial rate is inversely proportional well, to the fourth root of this, N. Carry this the isn't the way it happened in the movie. Yeah, something's way off here. Still Twin Pines Mall. Great oh. Scott. That was Lone Pine. Doc, what so is it? the move took made place. A horrible mistake. Oh no! Doc! He's disappearing. Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! What? Oh, I just jolted out of bed there. That is, uh, Marty, is everything okay? Poster in the background. Yeah, Mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And oh, Doc there's was the there. yeah, the knock to the number three. Is well, it? you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. 86. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! The game. Well, all the clocks. Episode 1, it's about time. Well, the whole movie's about time. Written design by Andy Hartzell and Mike Stemmel. Oh, oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, don't touch buttons. I was like, is there a, a little skip? But nope. I said food dish. Still got all the clocks going on. Not allowed to skip any of this. Oh, yep. Stop pushing. I'll push the same button again. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? Nope. Better late than too late. Ever. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Hi, Biff. Come to Make... see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Make like a tree and get out. Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous laying behind. Okay, we don't want it the door. What about the dog feeder? Hey, let me! Oh, now, Biff, oh. leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. D sorry, Marty. Yeah. Biff. Nope. There's no can. Okay, so we did the dog feeder. Television. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? What? <laughs> uh, no! Dad, don't boink my mom! Uh, so that's George. 
George is our dad. Is there anything over here we can touch? Nope. I don't think we need to talk to dad yet. Amplifier, amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Oh, cranks it right up. Remember what happened last time this happened? I think my mic is really loud too. Let's just turn that down just a smidge. Now let's go for the amplifier. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Okay. Ooh, some electrical equipment. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. <laughs> lightning powered pencil sharpener. Uh, what if I talk to Biff? Is there anything. Scientific equipment? Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Eee. Jukebox. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff. Let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. Yeah. Nope. Enough of that junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. All right, so he still keeps cutting in front of us. So we checked down Square Mall. built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock <laughs> tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Hmm. Family connection. You and my folks go way back. Yeah? Let's try so, to... So how about letting me have that model courthouse? For old time's sake. Yeah. I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, oh, well, no, 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 no. Oh. Looks a like Biff has for book. something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Browns to... Browns worm food, kid. This looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> uh, why button to hit... For hints on demand? It would take a pretty powerful force to knock that notebook out of Biff's grasp. Ooh. Wait, what's, what's the bat? Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> oh, that smells like beef stew. Feels like that was a life... Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> a lifetime ago since he wore that? Alright, so Biff is not going to give that up easily. Ooh. There we go, now we got a guitar. Plug into uh Hey Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. Uh now we go to the amplifier? It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Oh, X for our inventory, okay. Use item. And now we get to plug it in. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. Hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff. I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Uh, I thought he dropped it. Okay, so let's try the controls again. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. What? I thought that's what the idea was. 
All right, now let's talk to our dad, I guess. Hey, dad. Uh, who's running this thing? Doc's alive. I can fight my own fights, dad. Uh, let's ask, let's see who's running this thing. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! <laughs> uh, try to tell I'm telling Doc's you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? His I hate to say really it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Uh, you got Doc wrong. I need to protect Doc's notebook. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Well... About Biff, Dad, <laughs> I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. <laughs> Those are weird eyebrows. Hey, okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Uh. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you. No, it, it's one of Doc's yeah, notebooks. I found do. it first, but. Oh. Well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. <laughs> or something. We'll go with the or something part. Okay, I think we're done. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Alright, anything over here? I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Right now, if we try the guitar, will he come now, back? Now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Here we go. Now we're gonna blow it out of his hands. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Boing! Oh, wow! Rock on, Biff. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doc, where are you? Hey, where are you? Oh, did I insert just get back? Let's just go back. Yeah? That's Mr. Fusion on the back? Doc? No, Einstein. Oh, shit. <laughs> Einstein! Where'd you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? They <sighs> going. Oh, what, why is there a high heel in here?
All right, so let's check the recorder, I guess. So one let me check the shoe. Marty. Ah. Marty, Ow. you're hearing this recording, and the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four-dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or now, <laughs> maybe later. He's in trouble. Now, now then, or maybe later. Come to my rescue in the past, or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? <laughs> okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Uh, what? That was it? What the shoe? Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. What about the glove box? I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Well, are I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Okay, uh... So we have no more options inside here then, so let's get out to so maybe we can check another part of the car. If you're unsure of the gold, press the left button. We're not unsure of our goal, we know what we have to do. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? That was helpful. Okay, so it's got to be in the DeLorean somewhere. Time circuit bridge. Examine item? This time traveling shoe is my only clue to find. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong, and by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. Okay, so how are we gonna use this? Nah, I don't think so. Huh? I'm trying to figure out how we use this item. About this shoe, Aini. Oh, here we go. Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Oh. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, my bad. There we go. Uh, is this the only name? Apparently? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Just as I suspected. Get along now. Damn, who's in my yard? 
Uh, I don't know who again. Einstein brought me here. Who are you? I've got something for you. Uh, let's try. I've got something for you. Let me in. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Nope. Wait. There we go. A shoe. Now, now, what would I want with a? Huh? Oh. <gasps> Stay there. Her and Einstein had hanky panky in the. <gasps> Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Leave that creature outside. Sorry, yes. Einstein. Yes, ma'am. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I <laughs> lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are <laughs> hooligans. It's a fact. Every Check nine out. out of ten. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. <laughs> hey! Where? Uh, I gotta try to fix my my headphones here. One second. Oh, that is so much better. Okay, so what do we have in here? Newspapers. Don't touch those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so not the newspapers. We got some cat trophies here apparently. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just saw how dark that camera got. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Kitchen door. Check the shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Yeah. Here are the cat trophies. Oh. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the vice principal. Man, she keeps it hot. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. All right, can we check the newspapers now? See when she started collecting. I feel like it's the newspapers. They're gonna tell us something. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. That was him <laughs> in the movie. Uh, okay, let's check the binoculars. Yeah, hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Oh wow. I'm surprised she's okay with that. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah. You wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. 
just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Did the newspapers... She has cat... Marshall Strickland. My grandfather, gunned down by <laughs> I I clicked on the cat Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Yeah, the curious fate of Marshall Strickland, that is something. Candy? Uh, the candy looks older than I am. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Okay, so... Maybe Miss Strickland has some information that can help you with your quest. Oh, we talked directly to her? Oh, why, why didn't I think of that? Uh, Miss Strickland? That would have made sense. Diane! Shit, Diane! just yelling at everybody. What are you doing behind that tree? Yes. Uh, uh, when did you lose your shoe? What's with all the newspapers? Uh, when did you lose your shoe? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But oh, fine. Let me think about it. Uh, Brought you your shoe? Yes, you're having to tell me. I remember. Me? I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes, the day that Speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy in Hill Valley. Don't act so surprised, young man. What Your generation speech? doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. What's a speakeasy? Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while <laughs> honest citizens quaked in their beds. <laughs> Where was the speakeasy? Where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Uh, student of you history? Need to my I am Danny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Okay. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned yeah. down. The following year, as I recall. Oh, the year right after, okay. What's, What's with, with all, all the newspapers? newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single Every issue single from 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Uh, I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Now that's a look, though. Naturally, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Well, Can you idea what day. date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Obviously. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on lower things. Is that... Tim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap 
Okay, I think we're done. Well, let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! <sighs> okay, I think we're done here. I think we're gonna go look at the speakies or the the store. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But... And I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. Not gonna go to the dance. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the... You! It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Uh... I guess I'm stuck here for a while. Okay. Try the newspapers again, maybe? Okay, I'm all flustered. Here we go. I told you not to touch those! <sighs> okay. Can't touch the newspapers. Try the kitchen door again. That tea's never gonna boil. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Nothing. Okay, what are we missing? What about our items? I don't think that picture is going to do anything but confuse people. Okay. Uh, okay. Edna lost her shoe during the age of the prohibition. An illegal drinking establishment burned down. What went up in its place? We already know the uh, the video or the not the video. Yeah, the video rental store. mess up my picture of dad like that. Okay, little, uh, wrong button. Oh my goodness, these controls are horrible. I think I'd better save this for Doc. Okay. I don't want to record. Ah! Excuse me, Miss Strickland. I'm getting confused. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Yeah. Following year, as I recall. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Okay, we already did this. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the Let's day. See if we can figure yeah, this you out. What date that article came out? Well, the day after. The day after the speakeasy burned down. <sighs> okay, so Don't we've let me keep done it from that. Your Cat bulls. Can we do the radiator again? There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Oh... That's how we got her out last time, was we... Okay, quick, newspapers! Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe. 
And Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Hmm. I don't know if I keep looking at these though. Clint or... Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. <laughs> I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Can we use the binoculars and check? Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Now that we know what we're looking for. Established 1932. February 1932. Rebuilt in February 1932. Okay. The fire must have happened before then. But when? Yeah. I need a date. Don't look at me. The fire would have been about a year. For you. <laughs> I need a date. <laughs> Okay, so let's get her out of here one more time. The plane with the radiator. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Okay. Got her out one more time. So 1931 we're looking for. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. The <laughs> arsonist slain. Legal procedure arsonist. gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his. Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. June 14th, 1931. Oh. Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me. No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Oh. Police! <laughs> I'm being attacked by hooligans! <laughs> Nine out of ten. Okay. Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Um, dressed for a homing party. It's a work uniform. It's a costume for a school play. Uh, it sounds I tell believable. You, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing Grapes of Wrath. Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. <laughs> a few seconds, most. May may get a beer, but it'll be a few seconds. Just I'll be home for dinner. All right. I've got to turn on the time circuits first. Oh, okay. Sorry, I forget how the movie goes. Time circuits on. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Fluxy. Okay. If Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931... I'll Any time before that. Before, ...and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Rumble Z.
That can't be. That can't be good for the tires. Hill Valley Police Department. We're being shot up. Then right, right in the middle of it all. No, shoot, shoot. Oh, crap! Oh, get out of the way. Swerve. Oh, okay. Oh, and now we're gonna get pulled over. Shoot on our tires. Car of the future at Hill Valley Ex Boshin. What? Exhibition? Exposition. Okay. But I'm not very good at the words. Another achievement back in time. Einstein, where do you go now, boy? Einstein, come here, boy. Hill Valley Stationers, Bank of something. Gonna run over dancing in the street. Young man, excuse me, young man. Excuse me. Who, uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan? The stranger oh, who single-handedly is... did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor. Uh... Um, uh, there's some mistake. Some sort of there's mistake. some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Mm. Depends what you consider the side of righteousness. <laughs> I, know, I know Doc. Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Yeah. I need an unbiased yes. opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. Unbiased. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? Forget everything you thought you knew about Doc. What do you think of Doc? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm against well, bombs. Well, I'm not so big on bomb blasts. Yes, but this bomb blasted a speakeasy, the very symbol of lawlessness and corruption. But you're all for cleaning up the town, aren't you? I you have feel a like for the vicious gangsters who still roam these I streets, have to say no I'm a supporter to eventually. corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Those are my favorite things. No? No, nah, not really. That's the spirit. Destroy them with indifference. If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are. May I get your okay. name? Yeah, it's... Uh... Harry Callahan. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I knew that. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. 
guessing he's in jail for blowing up a speakeasy. Uh, while walking, press and hold B to make Marty run. Okay, but uh, I think this is going to be it for today. I will pick this up again next time. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out and going through this with me. If you enjoy it and you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll continue this game later. Thank you very much.